Hello all, Emmerich's back, um, carrying on with my coastal walks. We're at a, uh, a couple of beautiful places today along the uh, Jurassic Coast, the Dorset Jurassic Coast, and we're at, well, the first part we're gonna visit is Lowith Cove with its white pebble beaches, clear water, and that distinctive oyster bay. Um, and also surrounded by really lovely um, Jurassic rock formations. Uh, then a bit later on, what we're gonna do is, you can actually see behind me, up over the hill, over the back there, we're actually gonna be going up to Durdle Door, a famous arch uh, created uh, geological rock forma formation, created well, millions of years ago. And uh, it's so beautiful. It's one of the most photographed uh, coastal spots in Dorset. So that'd be fantastic. So stay tuned. But first off, we've just come out of the really big um, car park. Uh, so you're not gonna have any problem with parking because uh, it sort of stretches pretty much right up there down to the bottom. And if you're looking for toilets, um, children's changing, uh, disabled toilets, things like that. It's all, uh, we've got it down here. So there's no, nothing to worry about on that front. But anyway, let's trek off down to the uh, shops first, and then we're gonna go down to the actual Lowith Cove. Can't wait, catch you in a bit. Right, we've got a gift shop over to the left, obviously for the tourists. And you know what? Lowworth uh, West gets around, and down to the Cove, around 500,000 visitors every year. Not surprising when you see the Cove, it's beautiful. But let's just check around here. We've got a gift, another gift shop there, and coffee bar. And we've got the visitors center, which has got the toilets, which we're off to now, so be right back. Right, I've just been to the, we've just been to the loos and I can vouch that they're all very clean and modern. Very nice. Um, right, let's trek off. We're trekking off down to the famous cove. There you have it, Lowell's Cove, what do you think? The boat, sh the boat Shed Cafe looks interesting. What a lovely view when you're having some beverages and something to eat. Wow. And here you can see the white pebble, shingly beach, along with the promised clear water. Yeah. And the plan, the plan of action is you see out over there, right at the entrance, we're gonna try and get over there and look back on Lowworth Cove. So where we are now, we're gonna try and get right up on that point and look back, that's the that's trek, but how we're actually gonna get there, I'm not sure. So that's a little bit of adventure, but first we're gonna walk along the beach. As you can see, some people are swimming out there, which is allowed. And you can also uh, kayak, paddleboard, that sort of thing. In these lovely clear waters.
right we've trekked from over there along the beach and it's warm it's really warmed up it's absolutely glorious day it's fantastic um, we did once upon a time with these people that are walking out of there we went over there and we, we didn't know how to get up so we tried to climb the cliffs it was very quite dangerous actually years ago um, but now they've got us this lovely route made up which is still going to be tough going but um yeah anyway let's trek off up here and then we've got to go all the way around the top to that destination i explained a little bit earlier oh as you can see they even have jet skis i was a bit surprised about jet skis but hey ho they allow them oh look at these steps look It's not very far before you're quite quite a way up. Feels like a few steps and look. Look at this, this is incredible. Fantastic. Right, oh they've just walked off and left me as usual. Let me trek on up, try and get to the top. Coming free. My fellow walk walkers, they, they went off without me and I was left on my own. I had to change my battery, it crashed. But here's another, oh look, we could, there's another little walkway could have come up there. So we're going up and around. Right, we're getting close to where we want to be. Richard's off in front, me second place. Nick Ritz for a place at the back there. And in a minute, we can literally walk out on the rock ledge. Not advisable on a windy day, obviously, because obviously there's no railings or anything like that. But um, today should be pretty safe. Famous last words. I think we need to go out to that point, don't you? Be rude not to. Come on, let's do this. Uh, you can not come in. Yeah. Nick Ricks has bottled out. That's one of them, but that's one of the team bottled out. And what sign? Oh, we got a warning: unstable cliff, keep off. So we've actually got a sign saying warning: unstable cliff, keep off. But obviously, people do come down here and you're not going to get prosecuted, it's just, you know, for your own safety, I guess. Here we go. Let's walk out along here. Yeah, it looks great for a swim, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look too too deep as well. It looks quite shallow. It's shallow, and it? It's, um, yeah. Wow, there you have it. Oh, what I did notice along the beach, even though it's quite a few people, it's, it is, feels really sort of tranquil, relaxed, quiet. It's just really lovely, beautiful place to swim. If you're looking for a sandy beach, it's not really for you because it's obviously got most of its white pebble and uh, black pebbles. But uh, I shouldn't think that would put many people off if they're coming simply down there for a swim. That's one of the front ones. Huh? Swanage? No. Swanage is right back 12, 12 miles behind us, that direction. What's that? That's, um, I'm not sure, oh, ask, to be honest. Ask Nick. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Lowworth Cove, what a beautiful place to come. And it's certainly a place that should be top of your list if you're visiting Dorset, especially the Dorset coast, the Jurassic coast. Let's see if we can get back up here without a landslide. There goes Rich. There's Nick Rex up on the uh, that pepper stone that we just looked at. Look at the formation of this lime's hard hard limestone. It's being pushed right up. It's basically um, 
the ripple effect of something that happened 25 million years ago. Basically, the Afri basically, if you're not aware, the actual Earth, well, the crust of the Earth, is um, floating on a mantle, a molten mantle. So it all floats around. They're called tectonic plates. And uh, basically, um, 25 million years ago, the te tectonic plate of Africa, that Africa sits on, collided with Europe, European te uh, tectonic plate, which created the Alps. And the small ripple, ripple effects of that created um, this formation in Lull Wolf Cove and also at Dirtle Door, which we're about to visit in a moment. Um, well, not in a moment, it's gonna be quite a long trek, but um, you can see it's sort of almost going up vertical. Most uh, hard limestone, anywhere else, what you'll find is horizontal. But um, down here, especially Dirtle Door, it's almost vertical. Fantastic geolog you know, ge geology in these areas. And it is some of the most stunning parts of the Jurassic Coast, uh, uh, Lower Earth Cove and Dirtle Door. And it's, they're both fairly close together. So when you come here, give yourself plenty of time and you can visit, visit both as we're doing today. Anyway, let's trek off with my, let's trek off and see my, uh, my walking buddies, Rich and the good wife, Nick Ricks, and start making our trek over to Dirtle Door. Let's catch you in a bit. Right, we're back where we started and that's Low Wolf Cove and all we're going to do now is um, that massive long trek. I'm a little bit cream crackered now but if you look at the distance that's what we're going to have to go up over, over the top, down, round to that famous iconic Dirtle Door. Can't wait, catch you in a bit. gonna hurt. Right this is a good excuse. My wife says this is a good excuse because I said I've got a film. It's important for the viewers. Um, not that I just need a rest but um, check this out. We're probably just out well just under halfway up and it's getting steeper and steeper and we've got all that way to go and it hurts. If you're thinking about coming up here you're gonna have to be reasonably fit it's going to be a real struggle not just to get up here but to get back because it's going to be steep very steep coming back up from Doodle Door and that's something to take into consideration anyway I've got to trek on a little bit more let's go this is absolutely grueling uh, I've only got I've only got 40% kidney function that's my, my that's my excuse I'm sticking with it Oh. oh, if any of those people coming back, it'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Oh, been there, done that. Looks at like the wonderful place. Oh, Richard's gone off well ahead. Even Nick Ricks is pacing off oh. as I struggle on. Oh. I think my uh, video deserves a like for all this, don't you? I'm going out beyond my capabilities to create this video for you viewers, you free viewers. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Finally, almost at the top, just a little slope to get over. And, uh, wow, Woo, look at that view. Is it worth this uh, torture? I don't know. Let's carry on. Let's get down. Let's get down to that iconic, most photographed 
geological formation for the, the Dirtle Door Arch and see if it is. Hmm. Oh, we're back again. Been tracking for a while. We've not taken the normal direct route down because we want to get a few shots of it at the high angle, what we're at now. But there it is, Dirtle Door. That famous archway, one of the most photographed uh, Jurassic features along the Dorset coast. A real marvel icon, fantastic uh, rock formation, vertical rock formation of limestone. And that's my team walking down. All we've got to do now is try and find a route down. So I think we're going to have to walk around quite a bit until we can actually find a route down. And what we're going to do is see if we can, go, see if we can actually uh, walk up to the highest point and get a few good shots. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Just a slightly closer shot. Check this out. Look at that clear blue water. Fantastic. And the Dirtle Door Arch. What do you think, Rich? Lovely. Yeah, Lovely. Yeah, gorgeous. Nick Ricks? Good. Yeah, good. She's taking photos. She loves it. And now, in a minute, we're going to trek through here and trek down there. Have a closer look. Probably go up over on the Dirtle Door itself. Let's check it out. As I was saying, it was uh, one of Dorset's most, most photographed spots. And as you can see, look at everyone taking their selfies. Right, it'd be rude not going down to the beach and we have reasonably nice steps going down. It's going to be really painful coming back up. Relatively easy to get down. But before we go down to that beach, the main beach, we'll take a little trek over to here, which just says it's uh, called the Man of War. Lovely beaches over here as well. Our plan of sort of climbing up to the uh, almost the summit of the uh, Dirtle Door is out of question because you can see over there it's actually been uh, sectioned off of wood now so we don't get to get out the top. Many years ago you could but all the exits or entrances to get up there have been blocked off unfortunately. Never mind. Let's go down to the beach. There's my buddies over there, look. They've gone on ahead as usual. Left me all on me taunt lonesome. Let's take a look over at the water. You can see the very, very small little pebbles. Probably very, very comfortable to, um, to lie on, as opposed to um, the larger pebbles at uh, Lulworth Cove. But if you look at the water, wow, check this out. It's like literally uh, clear water. We've even got a mermaid, a mermaid spotted over there. Check that out. Look, a mermaid. Wow, you see everything here. I've been told I've got to do a selfie. There you go, we're gonna, we're gonna have a selfie on film. Selfie on film? Well, selfie on film. Well, there you have it, that's Dirtle Door. What a lovely location to come down to. Uh, to the beach for swimming, for chillaxing, everyone enjoying themselves. 
Um, the only damn side I can see is all that trek, trek back up. Yes. Oh. Low Wolf Cove, and you just seen Dirtle Door. Definitely two locations not to miss out on. I've been here a couple of times over the years and I forgot how beautiful it is. But uh, you can clearly, uh, hopefully anyone watching the video, if you've got any questions, comments, please comment below. And uh, I'll certainly reply and help where I can. <laughs>